Hi, my name is Lexi Jong and welcome to my channel. So today I have with me some items from the new Patrick Ta collection. And I purchased two of the blush duos. So I have She's That Girl and She's So LA. And this one is more of like a nude brown type shade. And I thought if it doesn't work as blush, it might work as bronzer. So I wanted to try it because it looked pretty unique. And then I also purchased a red lipstick and the matching lip liner in That's Why She's Late. So I have, I, I'm very eager to try these blush duos because I actually really liked Patrick Ta's blushes that he came out with before these. They are, you know, these are the monochrome moments and they're like a matte blush, but I feel like, you know, a lot of people didn't like these because they are very soft and sheer. You kind of have to build them up, but that's what I liked about them. It's hard to mess up with them and they end up being this like lovely flush. So I actually really liked these. So I'm very eager to try the new blush duos, which looked, they look a lot more pigmented from what I've seen so far online, but there's like a cream blush and a powder blush. Now the lip liner, I did purchase one of his lip liners from the previous collection. It was fine, it was completely ordinary, but um, these are not listed with the other ones. So I wasn't sure if the formula was different. So I decided to try that out and the red lipstick really called to me. I did not like his liquid lipstick. I forget what that was called, but that was terrible for me. I, I really did not like that at all. It was one of my most hated products of last year. So I'm hoping the lipstick turns out much better because the color was too hard to resist. Okay, so let's get started on the unboxing. So this here is the box for one of the duos and it says day or night, this dual formula compact allows you to create looks for both and everything in between. A luminous sheer cream on one side and a buttery soft powder on the other, wear them alone or layer for maximum impact. And it does have directions. The directions say for a sheer look and dewy glow, dab and blend the cream formula on cheeks. For a soft airbrush finish, sweep the powder onto the apples of the cheeks with the fluffy powder brush. For ultimate color payoff, layer the cream formula over it or over the powder for a glossy dimensional look. So these are made in the US and I had to, sorry, I kept moving the box, but you can see it's very shiny. It's actually really hard to read on the box because of the actual picture they have and the iridescence of the box. So kind of hard to see. So anyway, let's go ahead and open this. You've got, you know, typical cardboard packaging. You've got a thick cardboard insert there to keep it protected. Okay, so this one is Shiso LA and it says the cream is 0.21 ounces or six grams and the powder is 0.14 ounces or four grams. All right, so I always, always mix up all these compacts because you know, some of them you actually lift here and some like this one, you lift here at the bottom. So you've got the really nice rose gold packaging that Patrick Ta uses. You have a mirror at the top and then here is the cream and the powder. And one of the things I like is the plastic screen to keep your cream clean. That's one of my pet peeves of palettes um, that mix cream and powder products. If they don't have like some sort of divider there, I just, I don't like that because you're inevitably getting powder into the cream whether you want to or not. I'm gonna swatch the cream and the powder here. Okay, so they are definitely browner than I thought they were. I thought this would be lighter and based on the way his um, previous blushes looked, I was hoping, you know, this would be super sheer, but I think I can still get this to work, but it's gonna be more of a bronzer type look for me. And the cream is, yeah, you can definitely sheer out this cream a lot. That that would actually work really well for a bronzer for me, I think. Um, but the cream has kind of like a slippery texture to it. All right, so here is She's That Girl. This is beautiful. This is definitely gonna be used for blush for me. So um, you've got the cream and the powder. Let's go ahead and swatch these. Very, very pretty soft petal pink. Um, you know, I 
think that's gorgeous. The All right, so there, I just redid that swatch a bit. So the cream is slightly cooler than the powder, but the two of them are pretty similar in color. I'd say that the cream is a little bit more strawberry pink, whereas this is a little bit more watermelon pink. And, you know, I just, I think they're gorgeous. Now, so the cream does have some slip to it. It definitely feels like there's a little bit of silicone in it. It's not gonna be a heavy silicone feeling. However, you know, that like slip that you get from silicone, that's what I'm feeling in this cream product. So I just checked the ingredients and dimethicone is one of the ingredients. It's kind of close to the top. I didn't um, count how many it is, but you know, it's the like in the second line of ingredients. So, you know, it's gonna be somewhere above the middle. <laughs> so um, overall though, I think the formulas feel really nice. So let's swatch the other products and then we'll go ahead and apply everything to my face. Okay, so here is the lip liner in she, That's Why She's Late. And this, I actually like the shape of this. I think it's interesting. I, the shape that I had before was more of a nude um, lip pencil. So I had no issues with that, but I am curious to see how precise I can get my lip look to be with this. Because if you look here, you've got you know, it's kind of like a rectangle. And there is a click button on the bottom to get the product to come up, but I don't think it goes back down. So don't pump it up too far. All right, so there is the lip pencil. That's a really pretty red. Okay, so the lipstick comes in uh, rose gold packaging, but you can see that you have, you know, kind of like this nude, like a pinky nude border and um you know i barely touched it you can already see i've got my fingerprints all over it so this is also called that's why she's late and so very curious about this formula so you can see the texture on the lip product is really pretty let me get a lisa eldridge and compare that okay so here's the lisa eldridge and here is the patrick ta so if you look at these closely, you can see they do have a similar appearance. I believe they are both gonna kind of have that velvety matte look to them, but um, I feel like there's a slight difference with you know how they are actually um, kind of like imprinted. And the Lisa Eldridge does have, at least this shade here, has a tiny bit of sparkle mixed into it not enough that it looks like a sparkly lipstick but you can see like a little bit of sparkle kind of embedded in there um whereas i don't see that on the patrick ta and i feel like this one just looks slightly like the indents are slightly deeper so like a little bumpier so i am quite curious to see how this plays when you pull this off you do have the patrick ta logo on the actual bullet and let's go ahead and swatch this next to the lip liner. All right, so really good match for the lip liner. Obviously right here where it's kind of sheared out, you could see that you could apply this kind of lightly to get some more of like a fuchsia pink look if you want, and that's what it'll wear off to. I think it's gonna be a really pretty color. So very eager to try everything on. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna get started with She's So LA, and I'm going to start with the cream and kind of tap this on here. That really does give kind of like a nice light bronzy-ish look. I, I think, you know, I could wear this totally as more of a nude blush just with the cream. I'm gonna take the Refer 18 brush and I'm just gonna dab a little bit of the cream and just put a little bit more on. All right, so wiping off that brush but still using the same brush, I'm going into the powder. And I'm gonna start a little bit lower than that, just so we can kind of see how it looks, just the powder. 
I like the finish of the powder. It's definitely deeper. Let's go ahead and I actually applied very little, so I turned the brush so you can see how much product is left here. All right, so I'm going to get a clean brush to buff that in a bit better. Taking the Esom G53, I'm just going to kind of blend this in a bit. It's a little bit deep for me. I think for me, this shade will definitely work better more in the hollows than it does on the cheek. But I do really like the sheen of that. So there is, I would definitely say this is more of a satin finish um, powder because you can see like a little bit of a sheen there. Like I see a little bit of, kind of like a little bit of gold mixed in there. I hope the camera's catching that. But overall, um, I think that's really nice. It just might not have been the best color choice for, for me. We're going to do the pink one on the other side. All right, so we've got She's That Girl. And again, we're gonna start with the cream. This is super pigmented. So coming from his previous blushes that you really had to kind of work up, build up. These are way, way more pigmented. You actually kind of have to be careful not to go overboard like I did there. I'm taking the Ruffer 04 brush and I'm just gonna kind of buff that a bit. All right, all right, going into the powder, just gonna get a little bit on that 04 brush Going underneath first, so you can see that shade. I love that shade, that is beautiful. I really like that. Here, I'll add a little bit more so you can see it better. Look at that, that's a beautiful color. Wow, so I definitely have too much product applied, like that's not my, normal look, but the actual shade of that is beautiful. Um, I actually think these shades mixed together would be really nice. So take one good look at this one. I'm gonna add some of the pink on top. So I'm just gonna add the powder. Yeah, I like those together. So overall, I think these both look really nice. I like the the colors, I think the She's So LA is actually gonna be a very versatile product for me because I think I can use it as a bronzer and I actually really liked mixing it with this blush as well. It kind of gives it a little bit more of a bronze pinky look, you know, and I, I like them. So, okay, so before we move on, let's go ahead and I just can't get over how to open these. Um, I'm gonna add some of the She's So LA, the powder to this side to see if I can kind of tone it down a little bit. Just using that Esom brush, the plain one, to buff. Okay, so I actually really like this transition here. Um, you know, I got a little bit of pink and a little bit of the bronze. I don't know, it just all flows so smoothly there. I think it, it looks really nice. So, um, yeah, I think that looks better. I'm going to go ahead and let's start with the lip liner. Okay, so I'm gonna try to use the rectangle shape like I would with an angle eye brush and place it pretty precisely. Okay, so I actually really like the shape of this. I think it made it a little easier for me to apply the lip liner. Um, you know, especially when I do this on camera, I'm better off camera, but I guess I have a little bit of nerves or something. So when I use a lip pencil on camera, especially with a deep color, it's so hard to get things very precise. And this really did make it easier, just kind of, you know, using the actual rectangular shape. 
I like this shade of lip liner a lot. Um, when I used the other one from the previous collection, the formula was fine. It was just, it was ordinary, nothing special. I have to say this sets down really well. I had to really scrub to get the swatches up. You can still see a little bit, <laughs> um, but it, it, it really stayed. I had it on for what, maybe a minute? I don't even know if it was a full 60 seconds before I tried scrubbing it off and it took a really long time and a lot of pressure. My arm was really red. I had to wait 10 minutes before turning the camera back on. But um, yeah, so I think this will stay really well, but I have to say as it's drying down on my lips, it does feel a tad drying. So we'll have to kind of see how that goes long-term. All right, and on to the lipstick. All right, so I actually really like this red. It is, it's like a patriotic red. I can, I've got a blue shirt on. So if I had like blue eyeshadow and everything, I would feel like it's like the 4th of July, but I really like this shade a lot. So I'll have to play around with the formula and see how I like that. But, you know, overall it feels nice so far on my lips. Um, I'll just have to see if it's drying. So I wouldn't say this is a matte lip per se. It definitely has qualities of a matte, but it also has qualities of a satin. So I would classify it more as a satin matte because there is a soft sheen to it, but it's really soft. Now, I can already see one issue that I have with this lipstick, and um, that is how it picks up on any dryness you have in your lips. I actually didn't think my lips were dry or flaky. They actually seemed like they've been in pretty good condition, and I haven't had any issues with other lipsticks, but I can already see little flakiness. Um, lipstick on my teeth already I'm sorry <laughs> but um yeah I can already see here you know that it's accentuating any dryness that I have in my lips so I'll wear this and put an update down below to see whether or not that actually gets worse if it does that's definitely going to imply that it's drying out my lips okay everybody I just want to drop in for a four hour update I have not touched up anything on my face, not even the lipstick. So I wanted to show you how well everything is wearing from the Patrick Ta collection. I mean, you can still see that beautiful sheen from the blush. I don't have any highlight or anything on. I have not added anything else since the video where I applied everything. So there's no powder or anything on top. This kind of satiny sheen, this luminescence is purely from the powder in the blush. Uh, the cream product, you know, I have it mostly covered here since I, I blended it, but I don't feel any tackiness or anything where I concentrated the cream. It feels nice. I don't have any issues with shifting or fading of the color at all. I actually got caught in a downpour about an hour ago and you know, no issue. The rain did not affect it. The humidity prior to the rain didn't affect it. So I'm actually very impressed. I know it's only been four hours so far, but I really, really like it. Um, this lipstick though is actually really impressive with its staying power. So um, I haven't really eaten anything, but I have, you know, been drinking from my water bottle, which, you know, I, I drink a big water bottle throughout the day, you know, one of those big hydro flasks. And, you know, with that type of lid, I'm constantly getting lipstick on it. So this really hasn't, I mean, not to say that there has been no transfer because there has been some, but obviously not enough to wear away the color. So um, the color is still almost exactly as vibrant as when I applied it. Now for comfort on the lips, as when I applied it, I mentioned that the lip pencil felt a bit drying and I still think it was a drier lip pencil than the original. Once that kind of got set in or I got used to it, it was fine. The lipstick itself, um, you know, it kind of dried down at this point to like a, a more matte finish. It does have a little bit of that velvety look to it, but I wouldn't say it looks velvety. It's not a dry matte, but it's definitely not as velvety looking as the Lisa Eldridge uh, velvet matte lipsticks, in my opinion. But you know, this color has held up so well. I'm very impressed with the stain powder. And honestly, it has dried down to the point where I have pigment on my lips, but I don't feel any product. 
like when I rub my lips together, there's no slip to it. So, you know, it has dried down, but it's not drying, if that makes sense. I do still see, you know, accentuation of some of the dry spots on my lips, but I think if my lips were in perfect shape and, you know, I had absolutely no dry skin spots, this color would just be phenomenal. So um, that's it for now. I will be back later with my final thoughts. Okay, so I'm back and it has been um, about eight hours now. And again, I haven't touched up any of the makeup today. So, you know, I've had dinner, I've had dessert, I've, you know, had some snacks and stuff. And obviously the lipstick has worn off a bit. You can definitely see, you know, it has faded. You can see you've got the lip pencil still underneath here, but you know, it's still really pigmented. Um, you know, I think it, I, I'm really pretty amazed. Okay, so before I give you guys my final thoughts, I had originally, when I purchased these colors, I had anticipated, you know, I was trying to get colors that weren't exactly the same as ones I already had, but I did think that the, what is it, the She's That Girl was going to be similar to the pink one that I have, and She's Passionate, but you can see that they really aren't anything alike, and after trying these on, there's really no point in even swatching these because these are a completely different formula. These are gonna be super light, petal pink. Um, this, these are all more like warmer toned, but I mean, look at that. So that is with like a heavy swatch, whereas here, you know, this is definitely gonna be a lot more pigmented and these colors are brighter. And the She's So LA, I don't have anything like that. It's really much more of a bronze shade. And I really, I wasn't sure what it was gonna be like. They did have a shade that, a plummy shade that I thought might be kind of like, she's seductive. But this is really, I, I honestly don't think anything is gonna be like this. This shade here is more of a plummy nude. Um, but I mean, you can see that was like a lot of product there. You can see how much this older formula has to build up, um, which again, I really like that formula. I think the new ones are much more pigmented. You can First of all, let's start with the cheek duos. And I really like them. I think they, both the cream and the powder have really nice formulas. And I, you know, I, I like the powder version better than the cream version personally. It's just not my favorite cream formula, but I do like it. Um, it's not like sticky or tacky at all. So I think it wears nicely and, you know, but the powder to me surpasses the cream. I love how sheer the cream gets and, you know, I like how light it is on the skin. It still feels pretty weightless like you don't feel like you have anything there on your cheek it's not sticky but the powder just has this sheen like it looks like I have a highlight on um but it's really just this sheen here and technically it is a matte blush but there's this like satin quality to it and I just I think it's really beautiful so I think um both the cream and the powder is both wore very well, but they also just blended out really well upon application. I loved how seamless the blending process was. The powder is super finely milled, so it goes on very nicely. It blends very nicely. The only thing is it is super pigmented. So his other brushes were, blushes, sorry, were incredibly lacking in pigment, which made them, you know, really buildable and really subtle looking. Whereas this is a complete 180 from his previous collection and these are super pigmented and you want to kind of use a light hand if you've got lighter skin like I do. So I love the colors. I actually really like both of them. You know, I've been playing around more just like with, on my hand and my arm with the um, She's So LA and I actually, I think, you know, I can apply that lightly enough that it makes a really nice kind of a nude base, but I do think, you know, just personally for me, since I, I don't do that too often, most of the time I'll probably use it mixed with another shade or um, 
maybe not all the way like as a bronzer, but a little bit lower on, maybe like kind of as a transition. I think that's gonna be really interesting. And I think that product's gonna be very versatile for me. So um, again, though, my pick for color is the, what's it called, She's All That. Um, let's see here, no, She's That Girl. So the pink one, that one is my favorite. I just think it is, you know, the quintessential pink duo. I really like it. Again, it is super pigmented though, so you need to go in with a light hand, but you know, although I have to go in with a light hand, people with darker complexions, I think, you know, don't necessarily have to go in as light. And I think that's one of the things that makes these cheek shades more versatile than his previous collection because, you know, the, the colors, there are only four colors in each of these products. And I think this, you know, is gonna be very versatile for a wider range of skin colors just because of that pigmentation and how smoothly it applies. So, you know, there there is a plus to that. Um, so overall, cheek duos, I really like them. I'm looking forward to wearing them more. I will definitely give you guys a future update in my next update videos on these products, but so far I am really enjoying them, uh, really liking them. I don't know, it's like blush season this year. <laughs> there are so many wonderful blushes to choose from. All right, now, Moving on to the lip pencil and the lipstick. So the lip pencil, as I mentioned when I applied it this morning, you know, it did feel drying on my lips. Uh, you know, I kind of got used to it. It kind of sunk in. It felt fine. It's not like dry, like tightening. It felt like that a little bit upon initial application as it dried out. But, you know, after that, it just kind of stayed there. Mm, but, you know, it's... I have to say, I think my lips have gotten dried out a bit from the lip pencil and I think from the lipstick as well. So for the majority of the day, it was very comfortable. You know, there was no like slip or anything. It actually did dry down to like a matte finish, you know, where you really don't feel anything. You know, it's just completely dry, but you still did have that sheen. So, you know, that, that was a nice touch, but, I think now, you know, if you look closely at my lips, they definitely look drier than they did when they started. And I think it's a combination of the products that is drying my lips a little bit. However, again, eight hours, eating, drinking, talking. I actually, my kids and I were, uh, you know, they, they were jumping all over me, rubbing, you know, my face into a blanket and stuff like that. And it, it you know, I've had some transfer, but, it still looks like this. <laughs> so obviously, you know, it's got great staying power, power. I'm very impressed because I don't typically lean towards matte lip products. I don't usually like them very much um, because they are drying, you know, I just prefer the satin finishes. But, you know, with all of the ones that I've tried, they have not had this kind of staying power. I mean, this is really, really impressive staying power in my opinion. And while this isn't a lipstick I would wear every day because I do find it drying, it is definitely something that I would pick up and wear for certain occasions. Um, you know, anything where I really wanted that longevity or, you know, just a really special look because I think it is a gorgeous shade. So overall, definitely like it. I do think though that you need to have really well hydrated lips um, before putting it on. And I did have lip balm on this morning, you know, it was pretty much worn away by the time I applied, but my lips were, were moist. So, you know, take that into consideration. But I definitely think, you know, your lips need to be in good shape for it to look good and do, you know, kind of plan to have them a little dried out by the time you take it off later. And I have to say, like, I could tell when I was taking that lip liner swatch off of my arm, it definitely stayed put. Um, that was probably the hardest lip liner to get off. So, um, yeah, overall, very impressed with all of these products. So my recommendations, what would I purchase again? I would actually purchase all of these items again but I would plan on using the lip liner and the lipstick for more special occasions um, just because they are a bit drying. And honestly, I would probably go with a different lip liner if I could find a nice match, but I really like the shape of this. 
I just find it a little bit too drying. So it's not something I would wear on a regular basis. And the lipstick, I just, I love this color and I love the same power. <laughs> I can't say it enough. Um, but the blush duos, I would definitely pick up a blush duo. So if it's something you're interested in, I would definitely pick one up to try. And they've got four different shades. They all looked really pretty. There's a plum shade, there's a peachy coral shade, the pink, and then I have the, um, you know, the brownish nude shade. And I, th there's a good chance I'll pick up more of these at some point. I am just kind of like drowning in blushes right now. I've kind of got on blush overload. So I'm going to hold off for now, but I really do like these a lot. So um, definitely great products. Now, okay, so that sums up my thoughts on these items from the latest Patrick Ta collection. And I hope this video was helpful. I would love to know if you've picked anything up or if you are planning to. So any thoughts or comments, please leave them down below in the comment box. And again, I'll have everything listed down below in the description box as well. So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. I've got some exciting things coming up. So I uh, hope to see you again soon and have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.